Ahoy there, Captain Benzi here, coming at you with another video from the EVE Echo's final test. Today I wanted to talk about industry, which is the act of making things for yourself. In a previous video, we've already looked at reverse engineering, which is the process of taking data cores and ship debris and turning those into blueprints, so today we are looking at turning those blueprints into actual things. Now before we jump in on this one, if you do enjoy the video, please let me know by hitting like on it, it's a huge help to the channel. Subscribe for all things Eve Echoes and ding that notification bell to be notified when the next video goes live. If you've got a particular question you want answered or a topic you'd like to see me cover, let me know in the comment section below or by coming and finding me on social media as shown along the bottom of the screen now. The Catskull Cartel Discord is also open, you can also come in and have a chat with us. We love talking about all things Eve Echoes, we love meeting new people, and of course we will help out in any way that we can. Speaking of helping people out, if you do want to go the extra mile and help support this channel, you can do so by joining us over on Patreon. Every dollar, every pledge really helps and it's always super important. It super makes me super humble to see that people are willing to actually donate their hard-earned money to help keep this channel and content going. So thank you all so, so much. Right, that said and done, let's have a look at industry. Now basically, I've been lent a Trami L and I need a few ship parts for it, so I went onto the market and had a look at things like some of the rigs and that that I wanted to use, and was taken aback by the prices. So instead, what we're going to do is build them ourselves. So if we go into the industry tab on the right hand side of a station, you can see here that it brings up the industry screen. On the right hand side, of course, we've got reverse engineering, which we looked at before. On the left hand side, we've got the manufacture panel. Now, if we go to the manufacture panel, you get ultimately given this screen here where you can look at the different ships, frigates, yada, 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 and all this kind of thing and have a look and see if you've got the particular blueprints for it. Now, obviously, I don't have a blueprint for a Corax. That's not what I'm here to have a look at. So let's come back out of that one. What I do want to build are some of the rigs. Now, there's some combat rigs that I want to build. So those are what we're going to look at. They are weapon rigs. And scrolling down here, you've got the different versions of the things I'm looking for. Cannon parts. It's a Dramiel I'm making for. I want the additional damage and the additional range, that kind of thing here. So let's have a look at a cannon burst aerator, because I know I've definitely got some of those as blueprints. If I long press on the blueprint over here, it brings you to the details here. You can see the tech level of the blueprint, the manufacturing time, manufacturing cost, material efficiency, time efficiency, and ultimately what the parts required are. And we're going to come back to those parts or Required in just a moment. If you're not sure what this particular blueprint does, you can also tap on the product and it will tell you here, activation time adjustment, that is one of the rigs that I want to build, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. So we can close all of this up here and you can see on the left hand side there's the blueprints, I've actually got nine of these, on the right hand side we can see the salvaged parts, the material efficiency, the actual bits and pieces we're going to put together to make all of this. If you tap on salvage parts, you can see that it actually brings up a list here of the different parts we have and how you can put those together. This particular rig requires seven charred micro circuits and two contaminated nanite polymers. Now, ultimately, I've only got three, so I can only build one of these. But if I did want to build more, you tap in the center and you can do the slider here. You see, obviously, if I take that slider all the way up to nine, because I've got the nine blueprints, I am short 15 contaminated nanite polymers. Now for now though, I'm going to tap back on there, just go to the 1 for the time being, and then I'm going to hit start job in the bottom right. You can see there is a time cost of 1 minute 30, and an ISK cost of 15,000. That's the total amount of ISK that it costs just to build this. So we're going to hit start job, you see everything goes into place, the ISK comes out of my wallet, and here on the left hand side, that job starts to complete. Obviously once that's complete I will get a notification, so let's have a look at some other things. So first of all, how on earth do you actually get those like those polymers and chips and all that kind of thing? Those come from ship parts. Remember in reverse engineering, we had all those different bits of ships that we were looking at and using to make the blueprints? Well, those can also be used for rig parts. Ultimately, that is done through reprocessing, and reprocessing comes in two different formats, which I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to scroll down through the corporation hangar and just grab some of the bits out of here. Once we've reached the bottom of this super duper long list of awesome stuff that we've managed to pick up across this final test. And here we are coming to the bottom now. So let's have a look. Uh, let's pick out a couple of these. I'm just going to grab a stack here of level 6 Amar ship debris. And do we have any of the other bits here? No, we don't straight away. So these it's the ship debris that we're talking about here from that item hanger. If I go down to the third hanger, hopefully we've got some raw ores here. There tend to be some kicking around. There we are. 
Veldspar, cord, uh, Scordite, Compressed Veldspar, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab some of that Veldspar as well. Um, not all of it, I'm just literally going to take, say, 10 of those and move those into my item hanger as well. Now that manufacturing job has already completed, you can see there. So we're going to go across and have a look at that in a moment. But first of all, back to my item hold, because we want to talk about reprocessing and how you get those parts. So you can see I've got some of them kicking around there, charred micro circuits, um, triggered power circuit, that kind of thing, smash trigger unit. If I go to the Amar ship debris, again, I'm going to split this because I don't want to just burst through all of these. I'm going to uh, break off six of those. And if we then go to reprocess, confirm reprocessing of the selected items, OK, and it'll tell you what you're going to get there, smashed trigger units and the conductive polymers. That, again, if we just want to go in here and have a look, again, you can see Smash Trigger Unit, Conductive Polymer. If you tap on a ship debris, it tells you what you can reprocess that into. Same with ores. If you go into there, you can see that Veldspar, if I reprocess this, I'm going to get 174, which I'm going to do, 174 Tritanium. Ultimately, what that you, you, there are better ways to do that. That's obviously just doing it unskilled. If we go into the skills and into industrial technology, resource processing, you can see common ore reprocessing allows me to increase the amount I would get out of that. So mine is currently a 40% increase in Veldspar, Plagioclase and Scordite coming out of their rocks. I will get 40% more of the mineral out of those. Um, and of course, depending on the different types of ores out there, for example, uncommon ores, if you wanted to be doing things like Omber or uh, Kernite, that kind of thing, you'd get more uh, from out of those. Now, if we go down further here, eventually you get to scrap metal processing. This is the one that means you get additional bits from the ships, things like those, uh, those corroded nanite circuits, that kind of thing. You get 50% more of those for each point that you'll have in the scrap metal processing skill. Um, so if this is something you're going to be doing often, those are skills that you are going to want to have there. So once you've put all those pieces together, once you've found the bits you want, you've tapped on all the different ores, you've found the parts that you want, you've put them all together in industry, it's now completed, we can tap on that there, and it will add it now into my item, and away we go, it is back there, ready for me to now use that slot again for making something else. Now, of course, I've only got the one slot, but going back into skills, if we go back into industrial technology and into production this time here at the top, like you've got frigate manufacturer, cruiser manufacturer, all these kind of things down here, industrial ship manufacturer, module manufacturer and rig manufacturer. You can see that if I'm training this, I get better efficiency with the materials, smaller manufacturing time efficiency, all of that kind of thing there. Same with structure construction and all of the different parts. And I think some of these, if I recall, do also allow you to have extra jobs on the go there. So frigate manufacture, even if you're going to be wanting to go for rigs, getting this to level five will give you a max manufacturing jobs plus two, which means when I come back to this screen, having trained that, I would not be looking at just one little plus icon here on the left-hand side. I would actually be looking at the additional two. So I'd have three jobs capable of going at once. So again, if we go back to the cannon burst aerator, you can see I still don't have enough parts for either of those. Oh no, I can build this one here. Do I have enough parts to build multiple? No, I don't. So I'm just going to build the one and start processing that one. And that's ultimately how this works. That's obviously me just looking at combat rigs and things like that. But ships are the same. If, for example, you wanted to build something like a very popular one, a venture, assuming you've got a venture blueprint, of course, planetary materials, these are what you're going to need to gather. You're going to need to gather 25 lustering alloy, 28 condensed alloy, 25 motley compound, 8 base metals and 8 toxic metals. Under minerals, you're going to need 1,315 tritanium, 317 pyrite and 120 metal. On. And of course, that is based on me not having any skills at all. If I had skills in industrial ship engineering, then those are going to be lower. I'm going to require fewer items to actually manufacture that. The skill, uh, the skills will then reduce things like the time cost and the amount of isks that it takes to produce that as well. So that kind of is how you go about doing industry. It is a vital part of Eve, on, uh, Eve Echo's economy. It is how everything pretty much gets made. So you're gonna want people in your corporation who are doing reverse engineering and getting those blueprints. And then like we have in the Catskull Cartel, you're gonna want people who are dropping, the, you know, making those blueprints and dropping them off into your cargo bays like your corporation hangers, and then you're going to want someone who is going to go into those hangers, take out those devices, out, out, take out those blueprints, and turn those into actual things. 
Anyway, folks, hopefully that's inspired you to give a go at industry, at making some things yourself. Look at the market, look at the costs of some things that are selling, and then look at how much you can actually pay to make them. I can buy the blueprint for a rig for about 5 million at the moment, and the parts to make that rig cost less than 1,000 isk. So for around about a million isk, I can make a rig myself, which is selling for upwards of 200 million isk. It's insane right now how much money you can save just by building it yourself. Anyway, there we go, folks. As I said, hopefully that's inspired you. Let me know your thoughts if you're trying industry. Let me know if there's anything you didn't quite understand about this in the comment section below. Otherwise, happy sailing and see you in New Eden.